I'm sorry, Pat. I don't believe there was a second. I, I'm sorry to interrupt. Oh, that's oh, that's fine. Fine. Correct. 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 There is no, oh, second. Second. no second. This is Sal. This is Sal. 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 Second. Sal. Second. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So, so uh, again, are there any dis discussion? Okay. All in, uh, all in favor, Lisa? Yes. Uh, Sal? Aye. Barry? Aye. Jason? Unmute yourself. Rebecca? Aye. Brett? Aye. And I vote aye. So that um, meets the, um, the quorum parameter. Okay, next on the agenda is a memorandum of decision for Melissa Marty, um, petition number 2022-853. And this also is in our packet of information. Do I have uh, a motion on this? Motion on this? Uh, I make a motion to accept the memorandum of decision for Melissa Marty, LPN. Petition number 2022-853. And this was also revocation, I believe. Let me and, just, a and a fine. And a fine, I thought. Yeah. This was also a fine, yes. Okay. So do I have a second? So do I have a second? This is Sal. This is second. Sal. I'll second. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, discussion. Uh, discussion. Okay. Hearing none. Okay. Uh, Hearing none. Uh, again, Lisa. Lisa. I vote. I vote in favor. Okay. Sal. Okay. Sal. Aye. Aye. Mary. Mary. Aye. Jason. Aye. Uh, Rebecca. Aye. Brett. Aye. Okay. Uh, Attorney Schum, uh, thank you. So the motion passes. Attorney Schumann, can Jason now vote on the other one since we missed him? Or is it closed? It's closed. Just okay. leave it as is. There's no okay. quorum issue. All right. He probably dropped out because of all the team's issues. Okay. All right. Next is we can. Consideration of a memoranda of decision for Christine Bryce. Uh, this was in our packet of information. Um, do I have a motion on this request to um, reconsider uh, reconsider the MOD? So I think it might help to give some background. Um, before the motion. Um, in this case, there was tolling language. And as the board knows, you don't put tolling language in the uh, substance abuse matters. So this would be uh, an amendment to uh, take that language out. Thank you, Attorney Shulman. So you would first so that you was the make change. a motion I'm sorry, there'd have to be two motions. First, make a motion to um, entertain the amendment and second to amend okay. as as suggested. Excuse me, this is uh, Tyra Posto, the uh, board liaison. I have noted that there would be three votes, one to reconsider the MOD, then to amend the MOD, and then to approve the amended MOD first. Okay. Sounds good to me. This is Lisa. I'll happily make the motions. I okay. make a motion in the in our consideration of Kristen Bryce memorandum of decision petition number 2022-913 to reconsider the motion. Uh, to 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 amend the motion and to approve the amendment. 
Okay. Okay. Second. Second. Mary Deep and second. Okay. Oh, oh. And that's allowed I, like that, Stacy. You're allowed. I don't to do think that. so. I think it has to be separated. <laughs> Sorry. I had a feeling it wasn't going to be good. I be uh, especially if we have to take a roll call for each. So Lisa, you want to redo this? Yeah. <laughs> one by one. Okay, so I first make a motion to obtain the reconsideration of the MOD. Just say to reconsider the MOD. To reconsider for, the, for the MOD. For consider for the for MOD. Okay, second. For second. petition to petition to 913913. Mary, did you second? Mary, did you second again? Second, Mary. Okay. So, a uh, discussion, comments, questions. So, this motion is just to reconsider the MOD. So, uh, all in favor? Uh, Lisa? Yes. Sal? Sal? Uh, aye. Aye. Mary? Mary? Aye. Jason? Jason? Aye. Rebecca? Aye. Brett. Aye. OK, uh, okay. the motion passes to um, op open up the MOD for reconsideration. Uh, the second motion to amend. Lisa, I make a motion to amend the MOD for Kristen Bryce petition 2022-913. Okay, to, uh, okay, remove, to uh, the remove the polling language. Polling language. Yes, to remove, yes, the, to remove the tolling. Okay. okay. All right, do I have a All second? Right. Do I have a second? Second, Mary Deepman. Okay. Uh, comments, questions, discussion? Okay, hearing none. So the motion is to amend the MOD and remove the tolling language. Uh, Lisa. Yes. Sal? Aye. Mary? Mary? Aye. Jason? Aye. Rebecca? Aye. Brett? Aye. Okay. Welcome, Rebecca. We can see you now. Okay, that motion passes. So the third motion to approve the amended MOD. Lisa? I make a motion to approve the amended MOD for Kristen Bryce, petition number 2022-913. Okay, do I have a second? I have a second? Second, Mary. Okay. Comments, discussion, questions? Okay. We'll take the vote. Lisa? Aye. Sal? Sal? Aye. Aye. Mary? Mary? Aye. Jason? Aye. Rebecca? Aye. Brett? Aye. Okay, thank you everyone. So the motion to amend, to reconsider and amend the MOD for Kristen Bryce has been approved. Thank you everyone. Oh, I don't know how, you know, I usually really look at that tolling piece and somehow I missed it on this one. So thank you everyone. Okay. All right, next on the agenda is we already discussed that we moved it to the beginning of the agenda on Christopher K. Uh, next is a motion for summary suspension for Maxine Hunt. Um, is Ms. Hunt or Hunty? I don't know. This um, um, I believe the agenda was amended was, yeah, before, was before the, yeah. For the meeting. <laughs> right. So, <coughs> excuse me. So, uh, Attorney Fasina, you made a motion to withdraw statement of charges. Um, yes, we received a, a voluntary surrender um, from Ms. Hunt. And um, so, uh, uh, and the department has accepted that surrender. So, um, you know, in the interest of judicial economy and efficiency, there's no need to proceed um, at this time for the motion for summary. 
um, for, or with a hearing, because when when the motion for summary suspension was filed last week, the statement of charges was also filed at the same time as as is our custom. OK, so based on the voluntary surrender for Maxine Hunt, uh, there's been a request in the department to withdraw a statement of charges. Do I have such a motion? I make a motion to withdraw a statement of charges for Maxine J. Hunt, RN 2023-214, uh, based on the surrender of her license voluntarily. So that would, so that that would be a motion, motion to grant. Okay, I make a motion to grant the motion, what to, I withdraw, said to withdraw the statement. Right. Thank okay. you. Thank you. I have a second? Lisa, Lisa, second. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> discussion, discussion, comment. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay. All okay. in favor, All in favor of, of the motion to grant, to grant the, motion the motion to withdraw statement, statement of charges, Lisa. Lisa. Aye. Aye. Sal. Sal. Aye. Aye. Mary. Mary. Aye. Jason. Jason. Aye. Rebecca. Aye. Brett. Aye. It, it's interesting because the motion passes unanimously. It's interesting. There's only certain people that I hear double, but not everybody. I was wondering, Pat, if you were able to get out and get back in, because I noticed when you're not muted, that's when we seem to hear the, the doubles. Yeah, and I turned off my phone because someone said maybe because I had two de devices on. So I don't know. I, you you come in clear. Mary comes in clear. Sal comes in double. <laughs> Lisa comes in double. <laughs> so I don't know. Okay. I don't know, Pat. Did I come in double now? No. Yeah, no. I I thought you were signed in twice because it seems like every time you talked there was a double. But. I don't yeah, know. Well, maybe I, maybe I, well, now I don't have a double. Maybe you, got, maybe you guys fixed it on me. I don't know. There we oh, go. We fixed, fixed it. So something happened. Rebecca, you have the magic touch. <laughs> okay. So going forward here, uh, we have a consent order for Franklin Jones. Is Mr. Jones in the audience or counsel for Mr. Jones? Okay. Well, uh, we do still have that motion for summary suspension on, so I just think you need to make a statement that that's now a moot issue. Okay. Going back to item number six on the agenda, motion for summary suspension. Uh, uh, the issue because we made a motion to withdraw statement of charges and uh, uh, to grant the motion from the department to withdraw statement of charges based on surrender. Uh, the um, there's no need for a motion for summary suspension because the issue is now moot because she no longer has a license. Thank right. you. Thank you. Franklin Jones, uh, this was in our packet. Do I have a motion on this consent order as signed and for the department? Linda Fazina for the department. Mr. Jones is unrepresented and um, given that he's um, in Alaska, I, I wasn't expecting him to join today given the time difference. <laughs> Okay, yeah, it's pretty brutal when you're on the West Coast. Okay, so do I have a motion on this consent order as uh, presented? May I please make an inquiry? It, the Well, let's have a motion oh. and then we can uh, discuss. Okay, so then this is Lisa, and I will make a motion that we accept the consent order on Franklin Jones petition 2022-258. Okay, do I have a second? A second, second, Mary. Second. second. Okay, Mary and Sal both second. Okay, uh, questions, comments, con discussions, Lisa. So I'm, yeah, I'm just curious. The the consent order refers to the charges in Alaska being around <coughs> him taking an illicit substance, and I didn't see where it specified what that was. Is it possible that they could 
could cause something in illicit substance that we don't necessarily consider something that the respondent can't use? Yeah, I think you're referring to, I believe, one of the Massachusetts cases where mm. it was something that was considered illicit there. This big discussion about that. Uh, I don't know. Did they list? Um, They don't list what the illicit substance is. I didn't see it anywhere. So I think, uh, Attorney Shulman, the question is, will they test for what we usually test, I'm assuming, is what the question yes. is. Yes. Because essentially the consent order, uh, you're, you're muted, Stacy. I, I cannot give you any guidance on that. I would not know. Um, that's something that you might want to ask the department's attorney uh, for background. Attorney I can't provide you any more information that, than what's stated in the Alaska order, which was included in the packet, and, um, and also uh, whatever information, which I believe the investigation report was included in the packet but just summarizes the order. And uh, I believe um, the Alaska order just references an illicit substance. Lisa? Yeah, I mean, my gut feeling tells me that it's probably appropriate, particularly since Franklin Jones agreed to it. Um, but I, I I just want to go on record saying that, in a sense, we don't know quite what we're mm -hmm. um, issuing a consent order over. I mean, you know, we don't know if they also um, are penalizing him or giving him discipline based upon our, a substance that we would not discipline for. I mean, we just we're missing a one very critical piece of information based upon everything that I'm seeing. Well, I would assume illicit would be something that's not legal. Okay, I'll accept that too. I just didn't know if it was clear enough. Uh, Sal, question? Yeah, I'm just wondering. Oh, no, I think you answered it because I was saying I guess my mind is, didn't we issue him a Connecticut license based on the valid Alaska license? Right? He got his license in Alaska first, I believe. I don't know. I was just wondering. So, yes. So, what does that mean? I mean, I don't understand what the question was. No, I guess in my head, if we gave him a license based on his Alaska license, if he lost his Alaska license, would we still issue a license to somebody who doesn't have an Alaska license, but has the education in Alaska? This is Attorney Fazina. I, I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, I, I, yeah. The cover sheet indicates that um, he he was issued um, his Connecticut license in 2006. It also indicates he graduated from the University of Connecticut in 2004, and he was subject to prior discipline, the Connecticut nursing license, um, uh, um, which he complete, successfully completed those terms. But I have no information to provide you as far as when he obtained the Alaska license. He currently, according to you know the information you have in your packet, he is currently subject to the Alaska order. And you have the authority um, um, under, I believe it's 19A17 um, F to take discipline against uh, uh, a Connecticut license mm -hmm. based on uh, reciprocal discipline taken by another jurisdiction. Thank you for the clarification. I misread it. Thank you. Okay, uh, Mary. I also think that 
what we have, what, 40 states, 41 states now in the compact, and we're in the minority in terms of not being in the compact. So were we in a compact state, this would not be an issue, right? This, this license would be subject under that discipline. So I think we need to keep that in mind when we're making these decisions as well. I'm not saying we automatically have to, but uh, you know, I think this is a clear cut vote. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Other questions, concerns? So essentially we're relying on our sister state, which is probably as far as away as it can go from us. Uh, to provide the appropriate discipline. And if he doesn't, then I assume that Connecticut will be notified through NERSIS that there's an issue with his license. Um, so NERSIS is the National Council of State Boards of Nursing S System for tracking uh, discipline for those in the audience who don't know that. Uh, so there's a motion and a second to approve the consent order for Franklin Jones. Uh, Lisa? You're muted. Sorry, I had a few windows open to do okay. with this. And, okay, yeah, I support it. Okay, Sal? Aye. Mary? Mary? Aye. Jason? Aye. Rebecca? Aye. Correct. Aye. Okay, thank you, everyone. Uh, so next on the agenda are our hearings. Uh, it's only been about an hour. Do people need a break or should we go right into the hearings? Pat, this is Jason. I need to step away for like 10 minutes. Okay, Attorney Shulman. Uh, well, why don't we just take a 10 minute break then? Yes. Yeah. So he can. We have everyone yeah. to be. All right. Present. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Ten minutes. Pat, later, so we, yeah, yeah. And, 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 Pat. Yeah. Yeah. My screen keeps freezing. So I'm going to hang up and come back on, so just so that Tyra is aware to let me back in. I'm hoping yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah, I'm going to do, do the same. Okay. Tyra. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.